Berlin, the capital of the Federal Republic of Germany, is a modern unified city today. But less than a generation ago, it was divided both physically and politically. The Berlin Wall, a massive concrete barrier with barbed wire, split the city into democratic West and communist East Berlin. The wall was an ugly symbol of the Cold War between communist Eastern Europe, led by the former Soviet Union, and the capitalist democracies of the West, led by the United States. The people of Berlin were caught in the middle of this struggle between superpowers. The origins of the Berlin Wall can be traced to World War II and the tense post-war period that followed. The victorious allies divided Germany. The American, British, and French zones became the democratic nation of West Germany. The Soviet zone became the communist country of East Germany. Even though it was about 100 miles inside East Germany, the former capital city of Berlin was also divided. The sector occupied by the Soviets was East Berlin. The sectors occupied by the Americans, British, and French were West Berlin. After the war, the U.S. rushed money and other resources to West Germany to support it against communist Eastern Europe. But rather than sending aid to East Germany, the Soviets demanded that the East Germans pay them back for the losses they incurred during the war. As a result, the East German economy stagnated under communist rule. Meanwhile, West Germany rebuilt its cities and factories. By the 1950s, West Berlin was a showcase for West German prosperity, a democratic island of economic success inside impoverished East Germany. For discontented East Germans, West Berlin offered the promise of freedom and prosperity. As a result, increasing numbers of East Berliners fled to West Berlin. Between 1945 and 1961, about four million East Germans left for the West. This was a great embarrassment to East Germany's communist government. Even worse, the loss of large numbers of skilled workers and professionals was a serious threat to East Germany's already floundering economy. At last, in August 1961, the frustrated East German government built the Berlin Wall, cutting off East Berlin from the West. The wall was 15 feet high in some places and topped with barbed wire. Soldiers with machine guns atop the wall and landmines scattered around its perimeter further ensured that no one got across. Over the years, the East Germans fortified and expanded the barrier, adding electrified fences and anti-vehicle traps. In time, the wall extended 28 miles and totally divided East and West Berlin separating families, neighborhoods, and loved ones. The wall achieved its intended goal. It stopped the flood of people to West Berlin. But it also became an embarrassment for the Soviets, who touted East Germany as a communist paradise. Instead, East Germany earned an image as a nation whose citizens had to be forcibly restrained from fleeing. Over the years, about 5,000 East Germans managed to go over, under, or through the Berlin Wall into West Berlin. But 5,000 others were captured and imprisoned, and about 200 were killed while trying to escape. The beginning of the end for the Berlin Wall came in 1989. East Germany was in a deep political crisis Increasingly, East Germans were openly protesting against the government. This culminated in a mass demonstration of 500,000 people. In November 1989, the East German government resigned and a new government took over. The new leadership promised to remove travel restrictions between East and West Germany. The country's border with West Germany was opened. 
For the first time in more than 28 years, Germans could pass freely from east to west. Joyful Berliners began to tear down the wall, and thousands of East German citizens swarmed across the border. On October 3, 1990, East and West Germany were reunited. A unified Berlin was the new German capital. Today, the Berlin Wall is gone. The only remnants are a row of cobblestones marking its position in downtown Berlin, and a few scattered sections kept as memorials. These remnants serve as concrete reminders of the harsh realities of the Cold War and the commitment to democracy that finally brought the Berlin Wall down. After World War II, East Berlin became part of A. Communist East Germany B. Democratic West Germany C. Capitalist East Germany